1. Decide if you want your email address to be your name. If you're looking for a more professional sounding email address that you can use for years, sticking with your name is the best way to go. It will be easy for you and your friends, family, coworkers, etc. to remember, and it won't be embarrassing 10 years from now. However, if your name is very common, e.g. John Smith, it's very likely that email address has already been taken. If this is the case, you will have to think of something else or add something distinct onto your name, such as numbers, underscores, your middle name or initial, etc. Examples of these potential variations include John Smith 65 at email.com, John Smith at email.com, Smith.j at email.com, John Smith at email.com, JP Smith 65 at email.com. 2. Get creative if you'd rather not use your name. If you're concerned about your privacy and would rather not use your real name for your email address, you'll need to get creative to think of an address you can use. Brainstorm a list of things that you like, such as a favorite sport, hobby, pet, TV show, country, celebrity, color, season, etc. Once you've done that, try and find a way to work this into your email address. You may have to mix and match different elements from your list to create your address. Examples of addresses you could come up with using this method include purplesixerball at email.com, mathwiz at email.com, mitchelljacksonrocks at email.com, American Girl at email.com, Autumnloves at email.com. 3. Consider creating a family email address. If your email address will be used by the whole family and will be receiving emails pertaining to yourself, your partner, your children, etc., you may want to consider making an email address that reflects this. If you're going to do this, some elements you could include in your address could be things like your last name, the number of people in your family, the word family, etc. For example, if your last name was Johnson and you had four people in your family, potential addresses could include the Johnsons at email.com, Johnsonfamily at email.com, four Johnsons at email.com, Johnson.fam at email.com. 4. Be prepared to switch up the spelling or add punctuation or numbers. Because so many people have email addresses, it's very likely that the address you want will have already been taken. Because of this, you'll have to be willing to make some changes in order to create a unique email address that isn't already being used. One way to do this is by changing the spelling, whether it means changing a letter, adding an extra letter, etc. Another way to do this is by adding punctuation, whether it's an underscore or a period. Depending on what email server you're using, some forms of punctuation may not be allowed, so keep this in mind. Another way to make a unique address is to add numbers. If you're going to add numbers, make sure that they're numbers that will be easy for you to remember, such as your favorite number. Examples of these changes include change I love music at email.com to I love music at email.com, change cats.rule at email.com to cats.rule at email.com, change dolphinlover at email.com to dolphinlover at email.com, change Jane Smith at email.com to Jane Smith at email.com. Change Jane Smith at email.com to Jane Smith 45 at email.com.